Good morning to all of you. My dear brothers and sisters, we have a long gospel account today. The story of the two women, or shall we say a child, a daughter, and a woman suffering from hemorrhages who were healed by our Lord. And if you will notice, the two separate accounts of healing in today's gospel are constant reminders that the most important element in the process of healing is the mutual relationship between our faith and God's grace. In my 17 years of ministerial priesthood, I heard or I have heard several accounts of healing, which is often attributed to one's faith. But I believe that there are three imminent sources of one's healing. First of these sources is the sick person's deep-seated faith. In Jesus' healing ministry, he would always say, your faith has saved you. These are the very exact words uttered by Jesus when he healed the woman afflicted with hemorrhage. Despite the many obstacles she encountered, the woman was persistent enough that touching Jesus' clock would bring her complete healing. It was granted to her because Jesus saw how firm her faith was. That is why when we ask God the grace of healing, we should also ask ourselves first, how firm is our faith in the healing providence of God? Second, a person is healed not only because of his or her faith, but because there are people who are constantly praying for that person. In other words, a person is healed because of the faith of those who care and love him or her. This is best exemplified in the story or in the account where the paralytic person was brought by his friends to Jesus at gumawa ng paraan na ihulog siya para mapagaling ng ating Panginoon. But Jesus saw their faith. That is why he healed the paralytic person. My dear brothers and sisters, this reminds us that whenever we have prayer intentions, we should not hesitate to ask our friends 
members of our family, relatives, and office mates, co-workers, and if possible, all people whom we know to pray for us. God does not only consider our personal faith, but also the faith of the people who care and love us. Last, but not the least consideration of healing would be God's will and providence. In most cases, a person is freed from any form of illness because he or she has experienced the healing grace of God. Like the two daughters in today's gospel, both of them were healed because Jesus wants them to experience the healing grace of God. He desired that both of them be freed from their illnesses to remind the people that He is the fountain of all grace. Thus, my dear brothers and sisters, whenever we are sick, be it physical, emotional, intellectual, moral, and spiritual, we should offer it to God because He alone can make everything well for all of us.